I salute you, vampires. This is Foriam, and in today's V Rising guide, I'm gonna show you the hands down best farming routes for all the essential materials which you're gonna need in the early stages of the game from the Farbane Woods. So, we're talking about all the animal hides, leather, bone, grave dust, whetstone, and copper. I'm gonna show you the best places where you can get your hands on these bad boys and also how to farm them even more efficiently. So, let's get right to it. Alright, so let's first check out copper, which can be found in the central area of the Farbane Woods. For this, you want to travel to the Bandit Copper Mine. This place is literally filled with copper nodes. If you break them with your mace or another tool, I definitely suggest a mace, you will get those copper ores in no time. And what's awesome about this area is that it also is covered by shadow because it's simply a cave, so you can keep farming both during the night and daytime without a problem. To refine your copper ore into ingots, you basically want to have a furnace in your base which processes them into bars. Also, definitely keep an eye out for the miners inside this area, as they will provide you with worker blood. The higher the quality, the better your resource farming will be, because they basically increase your resource yield, damage against resource objects, etc. So this is going to make your farming so much more efficient. Anyways, let's move on to the next resources, animal hides and leather. For this, you want to travel to the eastern part of the Farbane Woods. In the Bandit Trapper Camp, you will find different animals which will drop the animal hides and of course also the enemies which you defeat right here can also drop the leather, can also be found inside the chest, but basically this is a fantastic place to get your hands on all these items. Of course, if you have all those animal hides and barely find any leather, definitely make sure to get a tannery in the base because this one converts animal hide into leather. Then we have bones and grave dust, which can be looted off skeletons and necromancers, zombies, which can be found inside those small graveyards. But most importantly, in the exact center of the map, we have the Forgotten Cemetery. Inside this area, you will find plenty of these necromancers, zombies and skeleton, which all have a chance to drop both bones and grave dust. So this is a fantastic place to farm for these bad boys. Just like with the previous resources, we have a grinder in the base and this one can also be used to turn bones into grave dust. So we already did talk a little bit about the coarse thread and paper, but basically if you want to have some more interesting farming areas for them, you want to of course go to the bandit trapper camp, the bandit logging camp and then the bandit stronghold. The bandit stronghold itself is blocked by a barricade which requires explosives if you want to take it down but for that there is actually a little workaround. If you already unlocked a bear form you can basically use your stump ability and break down the walls to get inside without a problem. Then last but not least we have the whetstones and these can be found north of the cemetery we just talked about inside the bandit stronghold but what I think is a better place for them as these mobs are lower level is the bandit armory. Right here you will also find whetstones and plenty of these little chests which also have a chance to contain whetstones but basically you want to take down all the enemies right here as they have a chance to drop this resource. Once again, if you are a little bit unlucky with farming these resources, you can always process them yourself inside the furnace. One copper ingot and nine stone dust will give you the whetstones. Alright fellow vampires, that is pretty much it for this early farming guide for the Farbane Woods to get your hands on all these essential resources as quick as possible. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and of course if you are here for the long term, don't hesitate to subscribe as there is a lot more V Rising coming your way. By the way, we also have our own V Rising community server so definitely make sure to check out the Discord. Anyways, right now it is 4am out, I want to wish you an awesome night. Till next time, cheers.